Justin Reed, um, Find Out Hard Drive MMA. It's a real good gym, uh, real good guys, always pushing each other, just always working hard. You can really tell the team effort at this gym. My name's uh, Eric Showtime Sheldon. I train at MFS. I just, uh, I train hard, man, so, you know, I get it every time I'm in the gym. It's bigger than just Eric Sheldon as an opponent. It's more just, this is what I do and this is what I love, so. It's gonna be a test for him, if anybody, because I've been in the bad positions, you know, I've lost a three round battle. I've got caught in the knee bar, you know, so I'm not gonna get caught again. That's all I know, I learned from my mistakes. So you're gonna see a new Eric Showtime Sheldon when I get in there. This fight, I'm just going into it with the mindset. I have a job to get done, and I'm gonna go in there and try to get that job done as fast as I can. If that means we bang all three rounds, or if that means I have the opportunity to take them down in the first round and submit them, or just ground and pound them through the second, whatever it takes. He recently beat one of a, a former MFS guy, you know, so I respect the guy, you know, I respect him. But I'm going to tell you, like, I'm going to come in there and I'm going to be quicker than him and I'm going to bring the heat. So I think it's going to be a good fight. Eric Schoen's been around. I've seen him fight. I've seen his style. It is a team effort at the end of the day. I'm really looking forward to going out there and showing what I can do for my team. He's got technique. He's got all that. But I'm going to have speed on him in every category, ground, stand up. If I can take anything, he's going to dish out. You know, he's trying to hurt me. I'm trying to hurt him. That's just how I feel every time I'm getting in the cage. Making his way to the cage tonight in our co-main event of Cage Aggression 9, return of the champions, Justin in time breed from Hard Drive MMA with a record of 5-2 and two out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It has to be a little bit tough, you know, sitting back in the locker room and waiting for your time. You used to be a fighter, you still are. What exactly goes through your mind when you're sitting back there waiting after all this time? Uh, you know, you, you go through your pacing stage, you go through your your sleeping stage, and you're, you kind of want to watch some of the fights, but really you're just so focused and um, you're ready for your fight and you just want it to happen, but that's, that's the price you pay when you're co-main event or main event. You know, you're up there, you're that caliber, but you just got to do a little bit of waiting. And, uh, you know, talking a little bit about Justin, uh, he's been in the main event here before in this in this big in this stage uh, this time almost a year ago, right. and so uh, he's no no strangers to this. Um, at Hard Drive MMA, he's he's good. It's not his home there. Was a part of martial arts, but you know been with MMA Hard Drive MMA for a while now. And really, uh, you know, I hope to see his kicking uh, his, his kick game improve a little bit. We've seen him just really throw those kicks and, and they land hard, and, and he really just. He does well with throwing combination. Looks like he's in great shape coming into this fight too. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. to check out Eric when he was training at MFS, working really hard, definitely been looking to get his ground game a little bit tighter. I know we've seen a win by submission once before, but he was looking to tighten that up, working really hard. I know that he's in excellent shape too, and he's going to be in for a battle against Reed tonight because, you know, Reed is no stranger to going uh, five rounds like he went against Nazi. So it's going to be impressive to see if he can, if the Shelton is able to impose this well against Reed. Nice. Yeah, I'm really excited for this fight too. Uh, you know, both of us know Eric, and uh, I've also sparred, trained with with Shelton too, and his kicks are are through the roof as well. I mean, and talk about whipping the kick out and getting it right back and not having any lag time. That's you know that's what I remember being on the opposite end of and uh, going in there with Justin Reed does similar similar style. Yep. It's really going to be a, who, who sets the pace early is who's going to win this fight. And I'm very excited to see this. It's a great matchmaking again from ECR. And, uh, and I'm very excited in the fans are for a treat tonight in the co-main event of Cage Regression 9, Return of the Champions.
certain that this fight is going to live up to the expectations. Both of these guys are very well trained. Both guys definitely not afraid to mix it up either. Militich uh, found a home, new home at Militich fighting system. Excuse me, Shelton found a new home at Militich fighting system. Very happy there. He says he can't be happier with uh, the amount of teammates he's got now and the high caliber of fighting. And he has a couple big shots already from Justin Reed as he caught his leg. Big shots already from Shelton. Reed definitely trying to, you know, charge forward and not afraid to, to even take some of those shots from Shelton. Like I said before, don't let the bantam weight 135 oh, no. uh, weight class. Yeah, God, these, these guys hit these hard. Guys are some oh yeah. Shelton, you know, backed off for a second, but went right back in. Maybe looking for that knee, but Shelton looking for the takedown again. Has to be careful to get that, get that knee as Shelton puts his face down like that. Reed doing a good job of sort of isolating that, that right arm of uh, Shelton. Shelton staying very tight on him. Reed throwing some nice knees to the to the upper thigh and also to the stomach area of Shelton. Really nice high knee there by Shelton too. Neither one of these fighters give me any room to move. Now finally breaking apart. I can definitely say that Reed is a little bit more aggressive than you know what we saw last time he was in the cage. Knees by Reed right there. Ten seconds to the end of the round. End of the round. Good job by Kevin Anderson to stop it. I'm loving this co-main event so far. Very action packed. Both fighters, you know, very you know equal in, in terms of talent and ability. 
it's really going to come down to, you know, a lot of those intangibles, the, the, the cardio is going to come down to taking advantage of those small opportunities that you get throughout a fight and being able to capitalize on them and possibly win. Throw down. Big body shot from Shell. Nice high flying. kick by Reed. Looking Ooh. for a flying knee from Shell too. Just about nice. landed. Big, big right landed right there too from Shell. Shell really coming through with those right hands. Big body shot. I'm really strong right body there. shot. Big shot from Reed right there, back to Shelton. The only thing I would have to say is that Shelton is definitely going to have to watch out because he has a tendency to drop his head a little bit right. as he comes in. He'll really, easily get caught with a knee big, like that. Right, when you do that, big spinning big backhand hand landed and goal for the takedown. Beautiful combination. Showtime looking to stay heavy and, and do something now on guard. Great spinning backhand to a diamond takedown. We don't see that very often. Yeah, a real nice combination. And I think, you know, Reed did a good job of landing some big shots that round, so I think that kind of triggered something in Aaron to, you know, maybe we need, I need to take this down. I really like it when fighters like Reed decide to, to be really active on the bottom you know a lot of times you don't do that or you don't see that a whole lot but you know he's not just laying there he's throwing punches from the bottom Shelton trying to hop in with the mount, but good job of uh, Reed keeping his knee in the way fighters, like you said being really active right now uh, punches Shelton's keeping his head down really doing some hammer fists and just trying to stay active for him the face from Reed to Shelton so like you said it's very even even though Reed's on his back, he's doing well to rock side to side, really not getting caught too flat on his back. Reed's got to be careful leaving those arms up like that as Shelton doesn't grab one of them and do something with it. That's the, that's the thing when you're throwing, uh, you leave limbs like that. Big up, big legal kick as the fighter was down. But the referee didn't see it. It's going to be, you know, real important for Shelton to to sort of, you know, regain his composure after right. seeing something like that and happen. And that happens too, as, just, as you're getting back up, it's a matter of inches. Uh, was your, were you on your knees? Or were you, I mean, we're gonna have to check the tapes later on that, but the fight continues and that's something that you right. just, you know, it's a part of the sport. Things get through, sneak through. And Some really big shots by Reed at the end of that round. It's going to be really important for Shelton right now to just throw that out the window, act like it didn't happen, because I know that, you know, those sort of thoughts that, man, you know, that wasn't fair. That's going to linger in your head, but you got to get that out because it's about to start another round right now. I guarantee you, uh, knowing Shelton and knowing how he trains, he's going to come out in this beginning of this round and really take it to Reed um, and really try to even, even the score, you know, on his feet. <laughs> Try to land some shots, um, but all, all props to Reed for really, you know, capitalizing on that moment. Um, until the referee grabs you and stops it, it's it's fair game. So he really oh, did yeah. uh, get on top and drop some big shots down. And oh yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fight, you know. You have to take advantage of, you know, whatever you can get when you're in that cage.
and Justin Reed uh, really trying to mix it up and confuse Shelton. Shelton really looking for that big shot. Well, Reed looking to push the pace and Shelton trying to sit back and counter a little bit. Exactly, and right now he's, he's commanding his, his presence in the cage. Shelton looks at the big takedown and Gibbon doesn't get it this time. Didn't get it, but had the presence of mind to throw another punch, you know, yeah, at the end of that. Big shots too. Wow. Looks to tie up again and, and maybe do a leg trip. The fighters really throwing some huge shots, really trying to land something big and daze their opponent. Right. Good take down from Sheldon, almost right into full mount. Reed doing a great job being slippery, moving around. Staying on the hip. Shelton right now maybe looking to isolate that right arm. And, and right as I say that, he kind of slips it over the side of Shelton, knowing that he was looking for that arm. So there you can do, sometimes you can do an arm triangle. Um, here, uh, it's a great job. Re reverses it, so now it's him on top of him now again. Great transitions for both fighters. So even though it's round three, we've seen a lot of action, a lot of energy left with these two guys. Sheldon doing a great job of keeping his head down, right tucked against the chest to read. Getting some body head, so you know, even when you're on your, on your back and on the ground, body, body, head still is a great, great thing to use, and it's working right now for Sheldon. Kind of going a little bit lower so he can kind of come up and around with those shots. Reed's looking to trap that arm, maybe get that arm right there. So I'm trying his best to possibly move that arm out a little bit. She's got Shelton's arm trapped. He just needs to crank it a little bit more and pop it. See, it's trapped underneath his leg right there. If he comes, gets that popped out from his leg, it's going to be. That's up. Very close to a yeah, finish really right close. there. Some nice shots by Shelton from the top. Shelton, the body head again, really staying active on top. These, both these fighters really fight literally to the last Big second time. of the round. Tons of energy. You know, this, this is all you can ask for right here. Very aggressive, high action, fast pace. Shelton doing a good job of, of getting those takedowns, um, but Reed's right there reversing uh, and, and keeping, making sure that he knows that, yeah, you take me to the ground, but I'm still going to be in this game. Shelton reversing right back, so it's really back and forth right now. And right. You know, we've, we've always said it too, and I'm happy to be behind the mic and not behind the judges score. Oh, at this point, it's, it's pretty even down the line. Right, and you start, you know, you, you can see one fighter taking advantage, and then, you know, they're, they're quick with the transitions. Those score points, too. Being able to reverse something, that scores a point. And, I mean, it's, yeah, definitely wouldn't want to be a, a, a judge at this point in a fight like this. Might not sound like it, but that's a great compliment to both of these fighters, too. Right. Big combination up top by Shelton. Doesn't look too phased by it though. Shelton does a good job. Bulls guard looks for the looks for the guillotine. Shelton has a guillotine really locked in. Really looking to good. sink that in and get it. Looked like looked like Reed was just about to tap right there. Shelton trying yeah, to lock really it up close. real deep. Got both of the hooks in. Shelton's got it very deep from our ankle. It's right, it's under the end. Reed doing a good job of trying to push the fight right there. Hopefully you can hear those thud over here when we're at. Right. Shelton not in. Shelton lets up, Reed gets out of the guillotine.
this is one of those fights where, you know, you just sit back. You know, I'm going to apologize ahead of time be a little quiet because I'm enjoying this. Both of these guys are so skilled that you never know when, you know, an end of a fight like this could happen. And, that, and, you know, that says a lot for you, too. That was a deep guillotine to be caught and still kept his composure, raised up, dropped some body shots. Um, and, and, like I said, eyes in the sky and didn't tap right. out, didn't go out. So, big testament to, to Justin and, and Reed for that. And he wasn't active for a little while. And, you know, you kind of get nervous when that happens, but he and was able himself, to do something. Exactly. He finds himself in a great position right now. And, and Shelton trying to use the cage to push off. Um, but Reed in a great position right now. And then Shelton back on top. For a second, Reed looked like he had a slight opportunity to grab Shelton's arm, but Shelton was slippery like a snake. He was able to slide out. Shelton looking to take his back right now and sneak around the back. Really looking. He's got one hook in. He looks to have almost two hooks in. Really looking to sink that rear naked. Two hooks in. Got to get that arm around the arm. Shelton's arm under the arm. Reed trying to Doing a great job trying to kick out. the angles yep. off. You know, there's a few things you can do as defense, but Shelton looks to be trying to tighten that really tight and get that arm as soon as he gets it. And looks to have it right there. And now he looks to have it sunk and really needs to just posture his back up and gets the that. win. That is it. Eric Shelton retains his belt. His bantamweight title at the co-main event. Case regression nine. for a better co-main event than that as Eric Shelton proves his record to 12 and 2 here at Case Aggression 9 retaining his bantamweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a referee. Ladies and gentlemen, champion Eric Schultz. 